I have an old earthquake, our dis M, two cycle auger that hasn't been run in years. I believe it's a model 8900E device. The engine is made by Tecumseh, and the carburetor is stamped with Tecumseh 2. The only numbers I found printed on the carburetor were either 5170 DIV or PV35. Are replacement carburetors available for that model? There seem to be some inexpensive carburetors market as if they're universal fits for 43cc engines, is that possible? I'd like to order a new carb since the rest of the auger operated fine the last time I did fire it up. Hello Paul. Thank you for choosing Just Answer. My name is will be happy to assist you. There should be a tag on your engine with your engine model numbers. With these numbers, I can check for a carburetor for you. Thanks. I found your model numbers. You have a Tecumseh TC302 cycle engine. I will check for the availability of a new carburetor for you. Paul, a new carburetor is listed as no longer available. Please take a look at the image below. There are two carburetors shown for your engine. Let me know if you have part number 380 or part hashtag 380A. I will search online to see if I can locate one for you. Let me know and we can continue from here. Since mine doesn't have a bowl, I would say 380. Thanks for your reply. You have a diaphragm type carburetor. I will attach another link for you. Check to see if the carburetor in the link looks like your carburetor. Carburetor, click here. It looks different, but close. Based upon some searching of my own, it looks like this site call for replacement by 640,901 http colon slash www.generaliquip.com slash prod underscore library slash 255 item dot pdf then according to another site, 640,901 is replaced by 640231A. HTTPS colon slash www.mnd.com tc640901 html I think it's worth a try, but I'm going to soak in a chem bit bath first and then cycle through my ultrasonic cleaner. I'd sure like to get it run at least a little bit before investing $50 in a two-cycle carb. Check this one, click here. I would like to make a suggestion. Have you already removed your carburetor? Double check your metering diaphragm and your pump diaphragm to make sure they are not too stiff to work properly for you. Now you're confusing me with a guy that knows what he's doing. I'm a banker by day. And I fool with lots of these engines on the weekend because I have heaps of tools to keep up with. But understanding the inner workings of the diaphragm type carbs is not a strong suit. I'm much more comfortable with the larger four cycle carbs. I will attach a link to a really helpful video that will clearly walk you through the cleaning process. I would limit the amount of time you leave your carburetor in the chem dip bath due to the check valve in the body of your carburetor. Your ultrasonic cleaner alone may work really well for you. Video, click here. The carburetor demonstrated in the video is not exactly the same as your carburetor, but the basic repair procedures are basically the same for all two cycle diaphragm carburetors. Paul, I believe you can do it. As you are disassembling your carburetor, take pictures and make notes. This will make reassembly a lot easier for you. Did the video link open for you? Forget the video, I'm about to throw this piece of shit away for the wrong reason. 
The carb reattaches with a plastic spacer between the intake and carb. Look at number 187 at the big exploded diagram you sent. That spacer has a narrow channel in it that presumably conducts some sort of air impulse and routes it from one side of the carb to the other. I don't have the time or patience to guess which way it mounts. I don't know the official name of that part, so I can't research the proper alignment online. If you can send me the link to the page you found, I assume that I can identify the part that then track down some sort of instruction for how it aligns. If not, this piece of shit is definitely going in the trash tomorrow morning. Good morning, Paul. I will attach the link for you. I hope you don't give up. Parts list, click here. The part you are referring to, is a carburetor spacer. There will be a gasket imprint on both sides of your spacer. Align the gasket imprints, with the imprint, on the parts your spacer fit against. Example, there should be imprints on your hashtag 187A, baffle, your, spacer, and your, carburetor. We can continue from here. Thanks. I found the answers late last night after you signed off. I know that these Q&A chains sometimes show up when people use search engines to research these problems, so I'm adding the answers here, attachment, 2015 12 19 underscore 153342 underscore vacuum underscore channel underscore and underscore through underscore hold dot pdf attachment 2015 12 19 underscore 153426 underscore vacuum underscore channel underscore and underscore through underscore hold dot docx So with my discovery I don't have to rely on Gasky imprints the groove spacer face with the vacuum channel matches up against the carburetor face, and the tiny through hole in the carb spacer aligns with a similar sized hole at the intake. That hole is away from the spark plug side of the carburetor. Factory exploded drawings are rotten, because they show the carburetor holes in a different orientation than they actually exist on the tool. But the instruction above makes sense. Naturally, my model has two holes in the air vane foot, so I had to figure out that configuration too. I have it connected to position number two, but I can easily enough replace that if I have operating problems. I see my docs didn't upload correctly, so go use this link and page forward to page 47 is marked at the bottom. The necessary diagrams and text are on that page. It's page 51 if you use the PDF page counter to access it that way, https colon slash www.smallenginesuppliers.com slash html slash engine specs slash tecumseh slash tecumseh underscore tctm underscore engines underscore service underscore information dot pdf. I am away from my computer. I will check this as soon as I return. Thanks. I was able to fire it up after reassembly, but it would only run between the full choke and three quarters choke position, even after warming up. At least I know that the rest of the tool is working as it should. I think I'll invest in a carb rebuild kit. The metering diaphragm in particular looks a little worse for wear. I knew you could do it, Paul. Check the fuel filter inside your fuel tank. It may need to be replaced. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.